First tonight, a New Mexico mother who came to Colorado to get her toddler life-saving medical care had her car stolen overnight from Brent's place. That's a home for families dealing with such medical issues. So as you can imagine, this is a family going through so much mm. already. Baby Crystal is not even two years old, but she's already been placed on life support multiple times in just the past few months because of heart and lung complications. Well, number seven's Jessica Porter spoke with that family today. And Jessica, it's not the cars that they're worried about. It's what was inside the stolen car. Shannon and what's inside that car means a lot to that family and a 20 month year old baby girl fighting for her life and the bad guys who stole that car should have known better about who they were targeting based on where the car was parked. Wow, what's that? I came out to head to the hospital. I always get up early, go check on my daughter through the night. She's 20 months old, going to get a needs a heart transplant and when I walked out my car was wasn't here for this mom of two. Having her car stolen is the least of her worries with her youngest in the hospital. It's handmade toys and other sentimental items inside the car that she wants back. Spend most of our days in the hospital and you know, days that I need to entertain her, I go to the car and I get something different. Deborah Grego's daughter, Crystal, has been at Children's Hospital Colorado since December and on the transplant list for a new heart since January. God forbid she not make it through this and not make it to her transplant. Those are like my memories of me and her together. Security video shows two men walk up to her 2016 gray Kia Sorento at 1.30 in the morning. They struggle to get inside and spend even longer trying to drive away. What's disturbing is the car is parked at Brent's place, a campus in Aurora that provides housing to families in need of life-saving medical care. She was born with multiple defects. Um, to her heart. She got her first surgery at four days old. It's hard, but you know, every day we continue to say that we have hope that God does miracles and that one day she will she'll make it through this all. Deborah just wants her daughter's toys and other personal items back. Denver 7 is getting the word out about her stolen car. And until then, we absolutely did not want you to leave empty handed today. So we have these toys for the little one. Um, I know that's a little stuffed unicorn that makes lots of noise. So at least she'll have one she'll replacement stuffy. And actually, this is one she had that no got way. stolen. Exactly. We also loaded them up with gift cards for groceries and local restaurants. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Jessica. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, they already have just so much on their plate and they are really hanging on to hope and just another thing they have to deal with. Oh, we are all Team Crystal. What a beautiful yeah. little girl. Absolutely. Yeah. And wow. we asked the family what they need. They instantly told us prayers, but we know there's probably so much more that they need. So we set up a Denver 7 Gives Fund to help the family. You can go to Denver7.com and click on Denver 7 Gives. In the drop down menu, select Baby Crystal needs a heart. Reporting live in the studio, Jessica Porter, Denver 7. Whew. All right.